Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. In today's video, we have one very, very interesting question from radical equations for the value of positive integers. Given equation is x plus cube root of 28 minus x root x whole square equal to 10. So let's get started with our substitution. I will write 28 minus x root x equal to y root y. So from this equation itself, I can write x root x plus y root y equal to 28. Now what will happen to the equation after substitution? Let us write x plus cube root of this is y root y whole square RHS is 10. So x plus cube root of y root y whole square. y square is y square. root y whole square is y. So y cube. Now this is cube root and cube will be over. Right hand side is 10. So we are getting x plus y equal to 10. So we have got one new system where two equations are x plus y equal to 10. And second equation is x root x plus y root y equal to 28. Let me write here x plus y equal to 10 and x root x plus y root y equal to 28. Now I will use substitution once again to make our system radical free. So I can write root x equal to suppose a or x is equal to a square and root y equal to b or y equal to b square. So our system will become x plus y. So a square plus b square equal to 10 now. And second equation will be x root x. So x is a square root x is a. I will write it directly a cube plus b cube equal to 28. Now it is radical free system of equation. Now we have to calculate the integer a, integer b only. Now I will consider cubing of the first equation a square plus b square whole cube. That means 10 cube in the RHS. And here I will consider is squaring both sides. To collect a power 6 plus b power 6 in LHS. Let us expand using identities. So a plus b whole cube. a cube means a square whole cube a power 6. b square whole cube b power 6 plus 3 a square b square in bracket a square plus b square. RHS will be 1000. Now a square plus b square is 10. So here I can write 10. So a power 6 plus b power 6 plus 3a square b square times 10 equal to 1000. Or I can write a power 6 plus b power 6 will be 1000 minus 30 a square b square. This is our first equation. Now let us consider second one a plus b whole square formula. So a cube whole square a power 6 b cube whole square b power 6 plus 2 a b. So 2 a cube b cube 28 a square is 784. Now I can write from here a power 6 plus b power 6 it will be equal to 784 minus 2 a cube b cube. Now you can see both the equations one side is a power 6 plus b power 6. So we can equate RHS as LHS is same and I will use substitution also let us consider a b equal to 
सो आई विल बी राइटिंग इक्वेशन इन टी सेवन एट्टी फोर माइनस टू टी क्यू इक्वल टू वन थाउजेंड माइनस थर्टी टी स्क्वायर लेट एस राइट सेवन एट्टी फोर माइनस टू टी क्यू इक्वल टू वन थाउजेंड माइनस थर्टी टी स्क्वायर ए बी इज इक्वल टू टी दिस वॉज अवर सब्सटीट्यूशन नाउ आई विल टेक ऑल द टर्म टू आर एच एस बट बिफोर दैट वी कैन डिवाइड बाई टू इक्वेशन इज डिविजल बाई टू सो सेवन एट्टी फोर डिवाइडेड बाई टू इट इज थ्री नाइनटी टू माइनस टी क्यू इक्वल टू फाइव हंड्रेड माइनस फिफ्टीन टी स्क्वायर टेक ऑल द टर्म टू आर एच एस टी क्यू माइनस फिफ्टीन टी स्क्वायर एंड दिस विल बिकम वन जीरो एट इक्वल टू जीरो Now we can use rational root theorem and synthetic division method. If I will write eligible factors of constant term 108, then we can write plus minus one, plus minus two, plus minus three, plus minus four, and so on. Leading coefficient, if you will see, it is only plus minus one. Okay, if I will plug in t equal to one, no, it won't satisfy. T equal to two, three. Let us check. T equal to two, eight. Minus 15 times 4, 60 plus 108. No, it is not. T equal to 3. 27 minus 135 plus 108. Is it? Yes. That means T equal to 3 is our integer solution, base solution and integer also. And T was a b. Okay. Now I will consider. synthetic division method and let me write all the coefficient of cubic equation this equation so i will write coefficient of t cube 1 coefficient of t square minus 15 coefficient of t 0 constant term 108 so i will put one line leading coefficient is 1 3 times 1 is 3 minus 12 Three times minus twelve minus thirty six minus thirty six three times minus thirty six minus one zero eight zero. Here we are having coefficient for quadratic equation. So I will write equation as t square minus twelve t minus thirty six equal to zero. Now one solution one t value I would say is three. Let's solve this quadratic first. T square minus twelve t minus thirty six equal to zero. So I will write quadratic formula t equal to minus b. So twelve plus minus square root of b square one forty four minus four ac. So it will become plus thirty six times four. So it will become one forty four once again over two. So twelve plus minus it will come out twelve outside, and there will be root two left. Two. So I can write six plus minus six root two. Now you can see root two is irrational number. It won't give us integer solution. Once a is not integer, x won't be integer. So because of this is the value of a times b. so we can reject this solution as it is non integer solution as non integer value now which solution we are going to accept that is t equal to 3 this is accepted now ab was t let me write here ab equal to t equal to 3 now i will write our second equation a cube plus b cube this was equal to 28 now ab is equal to 3 a cube plus b cube is equal to 28 let me apply that formula so i will be writing here a plus b times a square plus b square minus ab equal to 28 
Now a square plus b square, it was known 10. So let me write here directly 10. So I will be writing a plus b times 10 minus ab equal to 28. So from here I can write a plus b will be 28 divided by 10 minus ab and ab is 3. So I can calculate a plus b. It would be 28 divided by 10 minus 3. So it will give us 28 divided by 7 which will be equal to 4. Now this is very very easy system a plus b 4 a b equal to 3. Sum of roots product of roots now we can easily find our integer solution. Let us solve this system. I will write here a plus b equal to 4 a times b equal to 3. So let us frame one quadratic equation whose roots are a and b where sum of roots 4 product of roots 3. So I can frame in a itself a square minus sum of roots 4a plus product of roots 3 equal to 0. Now I can apply quadratic formula I can factorize also. So let us apply quadratic formula this time a is equal to minus b so 4 plus minus is square root b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. So it will give us 4 plus minus square root 4 which will be 2 over 2. So 6 over 2, 2 over 2. So we will have 2 values of a, 3 and 1. Now remember our substitution was root x is equal to a. So I can write here a is equal to square root x. Let us write root x is equal to 1 comma 3 or 3 comma 1. Now I will consider squaring both sides. So I will write x is equal to 1 square 3 square. So our answer will be 1 and 9. Let us cross check. Verify both the solutions. So let me write here verification. Let us consider x is equal to 1. Okay. Here our equation is let me write x plus so 1 plus cube root of 28 minus 1 root 1 so 1 whole square and then RHS is 10. So I can write 1 plus cube root of 28 minus 1, 27, which I will write 3 cube whole square equal to 10. It should come out. We will write tick mark over there. Now cube root and power 3 we can cancel. So it is 1 plus 3 square only. So it is 9. So which will come out 10 and it is equal to our RHS. Verified. Now let us consider x is equal to second solution 9. So 9 plus cube root of 28 minus 9 root 9 which is 3. So let me write 3 here. Whole square. It should match with 10. Okay. 9 plus cube root of 28 minus 27. So 1 whole square which is 1 cube root of 1 is 1. So I will be writing 9 plus 1 equal to 10 verified which is our RHS. Hence our 1 and 9 will be true and integer solutions. Not only integer, positive integers. And this will bring the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching friends. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care of yourself. Bye bye.